Peace to everybody. Back with another video. Judge size was Michael Jackson estate in Living Neverland dispute. And as you can see, here is Michael Jackson with Wade Robson when he was a young boy and his family. A federal judge is leaning towards granting the Michael Jackson estate's move to take HBO to arbitration in its dispute over the documentary leaving neverland so the judge is leading towards and of course he's grant he's granting the michael jackson estate's move to take hbo to arbitration in its dispute over the documentary leaving neverland judge george Wu issued a tentative ruling on thursday in which he denied hbo's motion to dismiss the estate's case Wu was expected to make the ruling final by the end of september so the judge denied hbo of to dismiss the estates um, of of the jackson estates so and of course Wu was expected to make the ruling final by the end of September so hopefully whatever that decision is that's the decision it will be the four-hour documentary features allegations of two men James Savechuck and Wade Robson who say they were sexually abused by Jackson over the course of several years when they were young children the Jackson estate argues that by running the documentary HBO violated a non dispar agreement, agreement from a 1992 concert film from Jackson's Dangerous Tour. So, the four-hour documentary, it did feature James Safechuck and Wade Robson, who are a bunch of liars. And um, they were sexually abused and never happened because that was a lie. It's all fake. Um, over And, of course, over the several years... They, when they were young children, it never happened because nobody saw the police report or nothing because there is no police report, so they lied. Um, the Jackson Estate argues that by running the documentary, HBO violated a non disparate agreement, agreement from a 1992 concert from Jackson's Dangerous uh, Tour. Sorry, so that's what that happened the vi HBO violated it, the agreement and you know HBO had no right to do that HBO was in the wrong so this is why the Jackson estate was suing HBO for a hundred million dollars the estate blasted HBO for not including their rebuttal to the allegations in the film and went to court seeking to compel a public arbitration of the contract dispute HBO has said that the 26 year old contract no longer applies now how can the 26 year old contract no longer applies HBO is getting sued the Jackson's estate denied all the allegations because they know Michael better than anybody else they know that Michael Jackson never touched Wade Robson and James Safechuck the only time Wade Robson told the truth was the first trial. He said that Michael Jackson never touched me. Okay, so years later, after Michael Jackson passed away, Wade Robson and James Safechuck... <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, dry air... <coughs> So years later, after Michael Jackson passed away, that's when Wade Robson and James Safechuck say, oh, Michael touched me here and there. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just still not feeling well. And of course, and of course, the Jackson estate has denied all the allegations against Wade Robson and James Safechuck because they were liars. There was no police report whatsoever, and there never will be because Wade Robson and James Safechuck, they're liars. 
They say, oh, we're, we were sexually abused by Michael. No, it never happened. So Wade Robson and James Savechuck, they need to shut their mouth and go sit down somewhere and just mind their business and stay out of other people's business after all these alleged allegations that happened. Because it never did happen. HBO's attorney led by Theodore Boltress has sought to throw out the case under California's anti-slap statute, which discourages frivolous litigation intended to chill speech on issues of public interest. So that's what happened. So HBO's attorney is led by Theodore uh -huh. Boltress. And, of course, has sought to throw out the case under the California's anti-slap statue. Now, I don't know what that one is about, but it's a little new to me right now. Wu had earlier suggested that HBO file the anti-slap motion, but in, this, in his tentative ruling, he concluded that the statute does not apply to request for arbitration. So it doesn't include that. Um, does, or I should say it does not request for arbitration. So Wu did, had earlier suggested that HBO file the anti-slap motion. Like I said, I have no idea what that is. So I will look it up to see what it is. In court on Thursday, Boltress asked the judge to reconsider. So the, so the attorney asked the judge to reconsider. And I have a feeling that he's not going to reconsider. It was filed to chill speech, he argued. It was filed to tell the world, don't talk about child sex abuse. A company like HBO may be able to fight back and move forward. Others might not be able to do that. So yeah, so there was a chill speech. Um, it was filed to tell the world, don't talk about child sex abuse don't talk about it that means keep your mouth shut about it a company like hbo may be able to fight back and move forward others might not be able to do that so others may not be able to do that but that's what the file thing was about don't talk about child sex abuse so then in other words keep your mouth shut don't say anything Wu acknowledged that the legal issues in the case are close calls and that his ruling will likely be appealed. So Wu acknowledged that the legal issues in the case are close calls and of course his ruling will likely be appealed. You're a big company. They're a wealthy estate. He told HBO's lawyers, it's a clash of the titans. Well... Of course, the Jackson estate is wealthy. I mean, look what Michael has done for everybody. He's helped a lot of people. He's helped children to get better when they were sick. He helped children that have cancer. That was an, a big part of his life. Yes, he has done tours, like the bad tour, the dangerous tour, anything you could think of. He's done it all. Outside court, John Bra Branca, a co-executor of Jackson's estate, said that HBO has been trying to avoid a public airing on both sides of the story. So this John Branca, he's a co-executor of Jackson's estate. Um, he said that HBO has been trying to avoid a public airing of both sides of the story. So, <coughs> excuse me. So HBO's been dodging questions here and there because they don't, because they know that the truth is coming out now that nothing happened. <coughs> and if you have watched Chase or Michael Jackson Chase the Truth, all the truth is right there. What really happened? And of course, you know HBO is gonna get caught up in either way. <coughs> I never seen a media 
organization fight so hard to keep a secret, he said. We're saying, let's get all the facts out there. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've just been sick. Not just two stories from two accusers with a fictional interest. <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm trying to get better. All right, so, in the meantime, two stories from two accusers with a fictional interest. So these, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, they made up this fictional story saying, oh, Michael Jackson did this and did that to me. No, it never happened. As long as there is no police report, it's all a lie. Because if it was allegedly happened years ago, why wasn't the police report filed about it? Where is the police report? Where did that go? There is no police report on these two saying, oh, Michael did this and Michael did that. None whatsoever. And you know, and of course, was Wade Robson and James Safechuck, yes, they are lying money grabbers. They tell lies all over the place. They just can't keep a straight face to tell the truth. Wade Robson and James Safechuck, they lied under oath and perjury. And that's what they did. They lied under oath perjury to make up all these lies about Michael Jackson that are not true. A spokesperson for HBO said, we are waiting to see the judge's final decision. So now you got a spokesperson for HBO saying, oh, we are waiting to see the final judge's final decision. Well, my well, I'm saying, well, I'm just going to guess and say that HBO, HBO is going to get denied all the way around and that um, the judge is going to take the Jackson's a state side that's what I think is going to happen because you know when it comes to HBO they don't tell they were not telling the truth Wade Robson and James Safechuck they were not telling the truth they lied all the way around and of course Dan Reed the Mr. 4 Hour Documentary who has split it up into two parts that was all a big lie too he, um, Dan Reed edited all this stuff, edited all this documentary, so there would not be a two-sided documentary. And, of course, you know, Dan Reed should have said, no, I'm not going to do this. But instead, he was a big enough dummy to do it, so. And, uh, of course, you know, when it comes to those two, to them three, you know, um, they already got the nominations for their documentary. And, that, you know, it's a shame that that whole thing is a lie because Wade Robson and James Safechuck were not telling the truth. They were just kept on lying and lying and lying because they don't have no jobs whatsoever. Nobody will hire them for work. And then, of course, they had to go and lie on Michael Jackson, what he was supposedly, allegedly have done, and it never happened at all, so, you know, it's just an awful shame that they are not going to let Michael Jackson rest in peace at all, because of all these lies that are coming out, and now they're being exposed for who they are, leave your comments below, I am out.